This tutorial is divided into two parts. Part 1 shows you how to get the sepia tone. Part 2 shows you how to mix an extra color with sepia. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. Laos. First of all, you must verify what is the actual color mode. So I take image and mode. I can see here RGB. Let's switch to the grayscale mode. I click OK to discard the colors. Then I have to go back to image, mode, and choose the RGB mode again. To convert any kind of photo to the sepia tone, you must be in a color mode, RGB for example. Let's improve the contrast, enhance, adjust lighting, and levels. I click and drag the black cursor to the right, like this. The white one goes to the left. and the gray cursor to the right that's better i hit ok you can get the sepia color or tone with enhance adjust color and hue saturation here we have the colorize command I check it. I move around the slider to get the color I want. In this case, the sepia. The sepia tone is around 32 degrees. I go back to the right to get it. You can also type a number inside. I type 32. With the saturation slider, I can also change the amount of color. But not that much, though. Forty-five looks good. I hit OK. At this stage, you can stop everything and save your work. But I'd like to show you another improvement. Previously, I've done a beige image, so you can mix it with the sepia color. I click to open it. Here we have a kind of recipe to get the beige color. To recuperate a color, you can also take the color picker tool here. Click on the desired spot. Look at this square, it's beige now. Ok, enough with this image. Another method is to click on the foreground. Here in this column you have the so-called recipe. Red, green and blue. You can type your three RGB numbers inside of it. No need for that right now. Now it's time to add a beige layer over the actual image. So I take layer, new, and layer. I call it beige, of course. And I hit OK to confirm. You can see the new layer right here. This layer is empty, and that's normal. Now I can fill it up with the beige color. I take edit, 
and fill layer. We now have a beige foreground, which is down here. I click OK to accept that. The beige layer is hiding my image, unless I change the blending mode. By default, it is set at the normal position. Here, you can try many modes. The darken mode, color burn, the overlay mode, and the multiply mode. In our case, let's take the multiply mode. Around here, you can change the opacity. So I drag the slider to the left to see what's happening. An opacity of 50% looks good. I click outside to confirm my choice. Now I will merge those two layers down, once again to improve the image. I take layer and merge down. I have one layer, not two. Once more I'll change the lighting. With enhance, adjust lighting and levels. I drag the white cursor to the left to see the effect. Whoa, not that much. I go back to the right. That's better this way. I hit OK. Next, you'll see what I've done, step by step. To see my work, I will click here, the History tab. It can also be found in the pull-down menu. First, I open my photo, then I switch the color mode to grayscale, went back to the RGB color mode, changed the levels, adjusted the hue and saturation, created a beige layer, filled it with the beige color, changed the blending mode between layers, modify the opacity, merge those two layers down, and slightly change the levels. So, before and after the improvement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.